Megan Olivia here with Dan Henderson, who's facing Shogun Hua in the main event at UFC 139 here in San Jose. And Dan, this is your first event back since UFC 100. How's it feel? Uh, I guess I haven't quit fighting, though. So. Right, strike force, but back in, in the UFC organization. Uh, you know, it feels good. You know, I, I'm, I got excited for some of the other fights I had as well. So, I mean, honestly, it could be any, any organization as long as I'm excited for the fight. You had uh, three big wins in a row, your last win being against Fedor. How did it feel to have a win over somebody that was considered the best in the world? Uh, yeah, that that's probably definitely goes down as one of my biggest accomplishments in the sport. And, and for, for me personally, you know, it was definitely a good feeling and, and one that I'll remember. Now talk to me about Shogun, because we saw him fight John Jones uh, back in March. John Jones is a great striker and a very strong wrestler, just like yourself. So how did you break down that fight and, and Shogun's performance against John Jones? Uh, you know, I, Jones is just awkward and, and just a totally different style than me, even though, you know, he does a lot of striking and he is a good wrestler. So it's hard to compare me to him. And, you know, at Shogun's dangerous and, and likes to kick a lot, and, and you know I don't know if he'll do that against me, being a wrestler and afraid that I'll take him down. But you know I feel that I'm prepared for whatever he has to, to offer, and, and I feel like I'm better than, than him in you know every aspect of, of MMA. Yeah, so break down the fight for me because you say you feel like you're better than him in every aspect. If you feel that way, where do you feel he's even threatening to you? Uh, yeah, I still need to be careful. He's got some good kicks. I can't let him just stay on the outside and kick at me and, and score points. I need to stay in his face, make him fight, and, and uh, you know, not get caught with things along the way. He's been saying a lot that he said he's going to knock you out. He feels he's going to knock you out. Do you have any response to that? You know, uh, good luck with it. You know, it's I'm going to be trying to do the same thing to him. That makes for an exciting fight. But, you know, I, I feel that... Uh, you know, I, I control where the fight is quite a bit better than he does. So, I mean, it makes it tougher to, to land those big strikes if you're getting controlled. All right. Well, good luck on Saturday, Dan. Everyone is looking forward to that fight. Thank, Thank you. you.